Right, what's going on guys? Clutch here back again with another video. Now, I'm sorry I haven't been around. Obviously, I haven't uploaded for the last two weeks. Uh, I was just taking a bit of a break from the game and from FIFA. I've played. I've been playing as the last couple of days a bit more so I can make this video for you guys. But uh, yeah, just wanted to say, uh, like, obviously, a quick apology. Um, I know I haven't been uploading. I just needed a bit of time off and to relax and reset so that I can get back on this grind. Um... So yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. If you if you enjoy the video, drop it a like. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of the video and uh, what videos you want to see from me in the future. And drop us up if you haven't already. We're getting so close to 3K subs. It's, it's crazy. You guys have still been showing love even when I haven't been uploading. It's been much appreciated. So I appreciate all you guys. Um, so today the video is going to be a... So it's just going to be my custom tactics. So this is what I use with this team on a daily, weekly basis. I think I've accidentally moved all the players' positions around. But, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll rearrange it so you guys can see how I set it all up. Um, so, obviously, this is a team. It's obviously a very good team. I'm a big fan. Um, so, yeah, we'll get straight into the tactics. So, we'll start with... We'll start from... We'll start from the tactics I, I start the game with because that's like what a lot of people want to see. So it is 4-4-2. Um, if a defensive style is balanced just because I don't like to do anything too crazy at the start of the game. Um, my width is on 5. Uh, it's just what I like with a 4-4-2. Um, depth is on 4. I just think it's a it's a good solid de depth with a 4-4-2. It's just what I enjoy. Um, so yeah, 4 depth is what I, I like. It's a good balance between... Getting a bit back, but also not being too far back where you end up just getting dominated. Um, offensive start is unbalanced. Um, just because with a 4-4-2, it's quite a flat formation. So I don't like to do anything too much that moves people around. I like them to hold their shape and do what I want them to do. I have the width on three. Just because I like those wingers to kind of tuck in a bit and be a bit more narrow. And help uh, create goal scoring opportunities. Uh, I've got the players in the box on six. Because I want the two strikers and one of my centre mids to push into the box. Then I have corners on two and free kicks on one. Um, so that this is obviously how we have it set up in game. This one is set up properly. Um, so yeah, very nice team, obviously. Um, both of the strikers are getting behind to abuse the through balls. Um, both wingers are on cut inside, getting behind, getting to the box across. Now cut inside, like I said, is more just to build up play on the inside. Getting behind is to make those runs in between the centre backs and the full backs because that's a really deadly area on this game. And get into the box across to abuse the RBX or RB square crosses or R1 square crosses, sorry. Uh, obviously, very overpowered on this game. Now, both of my centre mids are on stay back while attacking, but obviously, I have two attacking centre mids, so that's kind of how it. Like, they end up attacking quite a bit anyway, so that's why I have them on stay back just to try and counter the work rates a bit. So they're both on stay back, and, and that is it. That is literally it. Even, but they're both on cover wing, so. Uh, just been saying that I've been I've been messing around with and it's working for me. Uh, both fullbacks are on stay, but while attacking. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll st we'll go to the ultra defensive one next. Now, obviously, we're playing drop back because we just want all our players to sit back and defend. Um, I'm on five five width. Now that one, sorry, I didn't even talk about it. So defensive was with the four four two. Defensive was with the four four two. Uh, my ultra defensive is with the five three two. Uh, and I'll talk about it. I forgot to mention it because they're different formations. Um, so drop back, obviously. Uh, just trying to defend. We're on five width. Um, pardon me. Um, so five width, just because with like a lot of the time when someone's pressing me, I like to have my my fullbacks in those wide areas, so I have an out ball and it's not too easy to get trapped in. The depth is on two because we're just defending. Obviously, long balls are a tactic that I've loved since the start of the game. If you have really high attacking position in strikers or fast strikers, it's a really good way to counter attack. Um, so long ball, we're a big fan. Width is on five, uh, same as before. Uh, players in the box is on three. We don't want too many people pushing forward. And we've got corners and free kicks on one. Uh, like I said, so this is the five three two. This is how I do have it set up. Ronaldo, Pele, and then I have Raul. But usually I'll sub on like a defender for Mbappe um, if if I'm gonna do that. Uh, so yeah, but that is what we're running right now. Um, then obviously we just have both of the strikers on come back on defence. I would make, I would probably put them on getting behind just to use just to make sure that we get a lot out of that through like long ball tactic. But that's what we've got for now. Uh, we've got Hullet on stay but while attacking and balance supports. And then we've got our two wide. Oh, oh hey, Jesus! Now we've got our two wide centre mids on stay but while attacking and stay on the edge of the box and cover centre. And obviously Hullet's on cover centre as well, just to mark that middle of the pitch. 
We don't change any of our centre backs, and both of the full backs are on stay back while attacking. Um, so now we will go to the five three two. Uh, now I've got press after position loss. Uh, it's just a just a very nice tactic. Uh, works really really well for me. Uh, this is the five three two again. This is just a bit more of a slightly more attacking. Uh, so yeah, that is the five three two. We've got the width on five and the depth on five, just because we're trying to press and get higher up the pitch. Uh, fast build up is on just to get players moving and get them up the pitch quicker. Uh, Whitf is on four and on attacking, uh, just because I think it's the best thing to do. Players in the box is on six, just to try and score some more goals, and then calling some free kicks is on two and one. Um, then we have instructions. Now, both of our strikers should be on getting behind. Are they not done? Okay, they are. Right, okay. Uh, so both of the strikers are on getting behind just to abuse the three balls. We've got the cam on getting forward, getting to the box cover centre. Obviously, these players aren't in the right positions, but... It kind of could work, but not really. Um, we'd probably just swap Rooney for a... We'll do that. That work. That looks all right. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Getting behind, getting behind. Stay back while attacking and get us down the edge of the box across. And all three on cover centre to help defend. Uh, and then we've got our full backs on joining the attack. Obviously, we want them to help score goals. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. And then we have our all-out attacking formation. Uh, now, we're on constant pressure. Um... And this is the 4 4 2. So we're on constant pressure just to win the ball back. I think the 4 4 2 is the best formation in terms of pressing the ball. Uh, and then we've got the width on five and the depth on seven. Uh, we're just trying to press the ball higher up the pitch. Uh, so that is why it's on seven. Uh, we've got fast build up, like I said, just to help counter and just get up the pitch. Uh, width is on four just to tuck those centre mids in. I probably would go with three um, just to tuck those, tuck those, sorry, those wider wingers into the centre to help build up play. Uh, players in the box is on seven just to get more bodies in the box. Uh, Corners is on three, just but we don't want to get exposed on the counter attack, so that's why we only go for three. And free kicks is on one because we don't want to get like we just, we just we're just shooting. Um, now both of the strikers are on get behind to beat the free balls and on stay forward to help score goals. Uh, then you got both of the wingers on stay forward just to help score goals again. Both on cut inside to help build up play. Both on getting behind to get in behind the defenders and both on getting to the box across to abuse the R1 square or RBX crosses. Um, now we've got one centre mid on get forward, get into the box across. Uh, that's just to help score goals. And then we have another one on balance and get into the box across. So like I said, we're just trying to score goals with this formation. And then both of the fullbacks are on balance instead of stay while attacking. And the centre backs are also on stay while attacking. Uh, so this was just a quick run through of the tactics that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. This does change a lot, but people have asked for it. So this is what you, what I'm giving you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Peace.